We are talking with uh, Mark Hassenzahl, he's professor for experience design. Um, hi, Mark. Um, hi. What, uh, first question, what is your profession or what projects are you working on? Yeah, uh, as you already said, I'm a professor for um, experience and interaction at the Folkwang University of Arts. So I'm basically in, in teaching. Um, of course, I have a number of projects, uh, mostly research projects. I'm working on diver diverse things such as social robotics at the moment. Uh, we have a project about connecting families over a distance. Um, we work on um, calendars, on all kinds of stuff. So it's very diverse types of project. Okay. So what will your presentation be about at the Congress? Yeah. So it will be a bit... Uh, it will about uh, cars but um, not really <laughs> so I'm very interested in in um, in well-being oriented design so um, of course I'm, I'm interested in experience design and uh, recently we connected much more to well-being so how how can design contribute to um, to a better better life better psychological feelings and of course this plays also a role in in cars and we did a project with BMW for uh, four years and I'd like to report about that and we also got in a new project uh, which is about mindful driving um, and maybe I can also report a little bit about that. Oh, sounds interesting. <laughs> it um, will be interesting. <laughs> in your own words, what makes an experience for you? Um, yeah, for me, an experience is, uh, first of all, very much an intangible thing. So uh, it's not so much about um, enjoyment, positivity all the time. I mean, that's a part of it, but it's about meaning. So engaging in something that is meaningful. So for me, experience a good experience is, is something, you know, a good activity, something that is good designed, a good, a meaningful way of doing things. And of course, then many, many um, aspects of an, an interactive technology play a role in shaping and forming um, this experience. But for me, a good experience is not so much about choosing the right color, uh, the right font, or uh, the right layout for a website or something like this. What do you look most forward to the Congress? I know I should say the, the, the wonderful talks and all the interesting stuff I'm going to hear. I'm sure that this is that this will be there, but I'm I'm mostly looking forward to meeting new people. So I'm a social person, and I like to talk to people and see what they do and uh, what they care about, and that's what I'm looking for. What's your all-time favorite book, and why? Maybe private or yeah. I had to think. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. Uh, I like many many different books, but I in fact. Uh, I have a favorite book, and I even brought it with me oh, spontaneously. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, oh no, it's like it's Daniel Miller's Comfort of Things. Um, Daniel Miller is a is a well known ethnographer, and he did a project. He visited uh, thirty households in a uh, in London and um, yeah, interviewed them, visited them, and, and looked how they live mm -hmm. and uh, what how they use objects and what role objects play. And he wrote about it like a novelist, and it's very, very interesting insights into how people live, real people, you know, not uh, not personas, but real, real people. Okay. And that's uh, what I like about that book. <laughs> I can recommend it, reading it. Okay. In, German, yeah. in German, it's called uh, Toast der Dinge, which is and a very... You have to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, Mark. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person in Graz in October. Thank you for the short mm -hmm. interview and um, see you soon. See you soon. <laughs>